Okay, second attempt already because the cat literally just knocked over my tripod and my camera. <laughs> but it's fine. I am just doing an update. I know I look so rough at the moment. Please just ignore it. I don't know when people talk about this pregnancy glow. They're like, oh, you're glowing. Where? <laughs> I have had a nap and I rubbed off my makeup and yeah, whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly check in really. Um, I did do my gender reveal, so I am going to include a snippet of that in this video. Um, probably it's going to seem like really, I know it's going to seem weird because it's really like zoomed in and warped. <laughs> um, but that's because it has my kids in it and so I had to try and like edit out my kids and um just have like mine and my partner's faces in it so that's why it's proper like butchered but it has the reveal and the color and everything let me put that in here so that now afterwards i can talk about the gender so here it is <laughs> Okay, if you've watched that, <laughs> you will know that I am having a boy. My partner and I are expecting a son. Very exciting. I really, really wanted a boy, so that's amazing. Um, and I just kind of wanted to speak a little bit about how I am coping with pregnancy still. And um, I guess from like a mental health aspect, but also just from like in general, how pregnancy is affecting me, you know, just like normal pregnancy symptoms and stuff like that. Um, so mental health wise um i am doing fine it's actually great um i definitely would say that the only thing that i'm kind of finding that i um not not really struggling with because that doesn't really seem like the right phrase because it's it's I'm not sure how much of an issue i would say that the thing that um i'm dealing with most at the moment is that kind of irritability um my mood has been well i haven't been getting like depressed um i haven't even had any thoughts of like self-harming or suicidal thoughts so that's amazing that is actually amazing i went to um my midwife the other day and i had to do you know that thing i don't know what they're called but you know the check sheet from the doctors and it's always like in the past two weeks, how often have you been feeling, I don't know, suicidal, depressed, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's like a score sheet. They have them well, in the UK. I don't know if you're watching from anywhere else. I don't know if that's a thing for you. But um, I honestly don't think I have ever, ever scored so low in my entire life. <laughs> I was like pretty much fine for every single one. Um, so that's a really nice change. The only thing, yeah, like I say, um, that has been an issue is just the fact that I kind of just get annoyed. <laughs> but I honestly, that's to be expected with my hormones and I just am um, like, it's probably a mixture of like being tired. I'm just like, oh, I can't be asked. Like, don't annoy me. <laughs> um, but again, even with that, it's not been, it's not been like, you know a really really long ongoing issue i would say that i am fine oh, soz. and then i'll perhaps have like a few days where i'm just feeling a little bit more like i just want my own space and just to kind of like be left alone um so i do kind of say to mac my partner like not really say anything but he'll just obviously he can tell like i'll be a little bit more like and not even grumpy or moody that doesn't even seem like the right word because it's not even that it's just a little bit like um perhaps a little bit more like snappy but i'm not it doesn't even come out as being snappy don't really know what i'm trying to describe <laughs> it's literally just not like really feeling like speaking that much not feeling like um very like intimate or cuddly or anything like that um and not feeling very like social like i'm kind of just happy to just be on my own and be left alone so um which is fine because when he's at work like that's pretty much what happens anyway so it's all good um 
and I do try not to be a dick about it. Like if I'm feeling a little bit irritable that day, then I'll just be like, you know, I'm just a little bit mm, like whatever. I feel like I've said nothing. I don't know if you know what I'm on about. I feel like I've just, <laughs> you know, when somebody speaks, and they don't actually say anything. I know what I'm trying to get across. I just don't know if you're getting it. <laughs> don't think I'm doing a very good job. But that is how I've been mood wise. Other than that, um, I've been in a good mood. Like I say, I've been stable. I haven't been feeling depressed. I haven't been like, you know, like sat crying or anything. I have found that I find um, comfort, like huge comfort at the moment in just getting in the bath, which is quite the opposite to what I'm used to because um, a lot of the time when I'm not feeling like I can be bothered to do anything, you neglect yourself, don't you? And then you're like, I'm not always the best for getting my ass into the bath. So it's kind of a nice change. No, do not attack my tripod. Goddamn animal. <laughs> He's hype now. He's hype because I just got up. He was asleep on me a minute ago. Anyway, um, in terms of other pregnancy symptoms, literally just like physical things, like I am really tired. I am definitely tired a lot. He's looking all cute now. Um, but I, I, I don't think that's a difficult one because I find, um, perhaps I would say more from the depression side rather than the BPD side. I find I get very tired a lot anyway. Literally I had to explain to my oldest daughter the other day that I'm not lazy. <laughs> like I, of course I can be lazy, but she used to say to me all the time, like, oh mum, you're lazy. And I'd have to, I literally explained to her, look, I don't, don't try to be lazy. I just have health conditions that make it hard. Like I don't, you know, like I have insomnia, for example, as well. And mental health, it leaves you very, very drained anyway. So it can be very difficult to like, obviously motivate myself to do things and getting enough rest to do things on a normal day. So kind of adding the pregnancy into that, it does make it harder. Um, but I'm definitely not just like lazing around. Oh my God. <laughs> why i'm definitely not just like lazing around doing nothing i i was for a while um and i felt really shitty about it to be honest because i was like yeah i've got so much time till the baby comes but obviously the more the pregnancy progresses the more tired i get and the less i really want to do things so i was like oh i actually am kind of running out of time to do things but the past couple of weeks like last week i was so productive and it was great so i find that i have the energy in the day to kind of do as much as I can but then afterwards I'm like completely dead and it drains me and I need a nap like even if it's just like an hour power nap um but it but it's okay because like I say it's not like I'm sat around, sitting around doing nothing last week I had to clear out um I have a cupboard like a storage cupboard because I'm in a flat I don't have a huge amount of room I'm literally in like a one bed flat and um that is for not that wasn't really like my, I chose to move here but that wasn't that situation wasn't really my choice it was all to do with like council and things like that but I'll explain that in another video maybe but um anyway I'm completely redecorating I've just got new carpets in the kids room and um I have like the living room is like really big and spacious but it's not a living room that's my room which is fine for me because I never used the living room anyway like I was always in my room so actually it makes me more social it's great and the kids just come and hang out with me because I have a massive bed it's like a day bed it's great um so yeah I had to like paint all of the woodwork in there and then they got new carpets and like to clear out this um like large cupboard I've taken off the door painted all of in there because it's going to be like my mini nursery and I'm getting carpets in there this week and carpets in my room this week because when I moved in here the carpet's all shitty and disgusting like I mean disgusting there's like literally like big massive stains on the carpets and it makes me feel sick because I just don't know what it is and it's it's like black it's horrid so I cannot wait to get these new carpets um so I just had loads and loads to do last week in terms of preparation and tip runs and organizing and painting and decorating and just like clearing out rubbish and bin bags and giving things away for free that I wasn't going to be using and I literally did so much. Um, so I would say that I'm definitely being productive still um, and I will do that for as long as I possibly can. But yeah, it does drain me. 
Um, other things in the pregnancy. Do you know what? Nothing really. I was having really bad like heartburn and stuff, but I'm on um, some medication from my doctors for that now and it's completely gone. So it's amazing. I am very, very grateful for that. And yeah, that's about it. Like everything's fine. Everything's actually going really well. I'm doing really well. My children are doing really well. The baby is doing really well. My health is doing really well. Um, the decorating is great to see the progress happening in the flat and everything. So that's coming along nicely and making me feel more homely because you know I didn't move that long ago if you remember. It was like, it was July last year. So I haven't even been here for a year yet and I'm trying to get it sorted before the baby comes. So yeah, things are good. I hope everything's good with you lot. Please let me know. I I get so many like random comments on, um, especially like my BPD videos. I get a lot of comments on those like constantly. Um, for some reason, those are really popular. Maybe I should do some more covering like specifically BPD because um, I get a lot of comments about how people just haven't found many supporting resources online and you know like struggling with their journey and things like that so perhaps i should do some more videos focusing on bpd but i was also going to say i get a lot of comments in general just like asking how i am and like let people letting me know how they're getting on um sometimes people are going through a really bad time or you know or they're telling me that they've just come out the other side of like a depressive episode or something so do keep them coming it doesn't matter what you comment I do, I do see them all anyway unless I like sometimes accidentally miss them but I always try to reply to people um, and it's nice to have that engagement and see how you guys are doing so yeah hopefully you're all okay do keep on letting me know and um Sorry if I rambled. I think I say that every video because I do ramble. So you're like probably just used to it by now because I just talk shit. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm sure my videos will get more exciting as time goes on because this baby's due in three months now and that is not a long time. So very exciting. Anyway, um, I will leave that here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.